Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Chambers and I'm super excited to be teaching you a little bit about Scratch today. What you'll need to do first is ask your teacher to create an account for you. Once your teacher creates an account for you, you'll need to log in. And when you log in, you'll notice that you start off on a screen similar to mine. What you'll need to do first is click on the Create button. When you click on the Create button, it will take you to the Scratch Editor that looks like this. I'm going to quickly tell you about the different parts of the Scratch Editor. This over here is the stage. This is where you can choose different backdrops for your animated story. This over here are the different sprites that are in your story. Right now, I only have one sprite, which is Scratch the Cat. I can add more sprites, or I can use the scissors to delete him. Sprites are the same as characters. This right here is the display window. It will display your animated story. These are the instructions. These are the blocks that you will drag and drop to build a script. So let's get started. I already created my backdrop and my sprites that I will use in my story to save us some time. The other thing that I did was I turned this fish to where he was facing the purple fish. I'll show you how I did that. So I clicked on fish 2, then I clicked on costumes, then I click on my fish again, and then I can click this button, flip left to right. That will turn him to where he's facing the other fish. That way they can have some dialogue back and forth. So let's go ahead and get started and build our script. So I'm going to click over here on scripts, and I want fish number two to start the dialogue first. So I need to add an event block. I'm going to add the when the green flag is clicked. That's going to start my animation. So then I want this fish to say hello. I'm going to have him just say hello for two seconds. If I use this block, he's going to say hello forever, and that would just be silly. So now I need to add a line of code that will let this fish know that it's his turn. That's under events. I'm going to broadcast a message, and I'm just going to name them message1. So now, when this fish receives message1, he'll know that it's his turn to talk. So let's click on the purple fish to build his script. I'm not going to use this block again, because if I do that, both of the fish will talk at the same time. I'll show you. So if I add this, watch what happens when I hit the green flag. Both the fish are going to talk at the same time. Okay? I don't want them to talk at the same time, so I don't need this event block. I need the when I receive message one. So I'm going to say, hello, yellow fish. Okay, so now watch what happens when I hit the green flag. So see, they talk one after the other. So now I need to broadcast another message so that the yellow fish knows that it's his turn to talk. So I'm going to add this one. But I've already done message one, so I need a new message. I'm just going to name it two, just to be easier. So I'm going to come back to the yellow fish, and I'm going to say when I receive two, I want him to say, do you want to go for a swim today? And then, I want to broadcast another message so that the purple fish knows it's his turn to talk. So I'm just going to call this three. But you can name your messages whatever you would like. So let's go back to the purple fish and we're going to say when I receive three, I want him to think first. Hmm. So I want him to say, sure, and then he can say, let's go. Okay, so now we can watch my animation so far. Okay, 
Now, I could definitely add some motion next. I could have the fish move. I could also add some sounds. I could add a lot of things to my animated story, but I'm going to stop here and let you finish my story. What do you think the fish should do next? You get to decide and finish my story, or you can even start your own story. I know your teacher will be super excited to see what you create. Have a great day, friends.